Yet another Chinese brand is all set to breathe fire in Indian shows and this time it is going to be Meizu, one of the top smartphone brands from China. They are yet to launch officially in India but we got a preview of their first device which could be the first device and that one is M1 Note and it also happens to be the first budget friendly smartphone that Meizu launched. M1 Note comes in a neat box and you find all the contents which are limited in a way are elegantly packed inside. The contents are pretty basic and apart from the device we have the micro USB cable, SIM ejector pin and a charger and of course the USB manual. There is no earphones included in the box. The Meizu M1 Note has a 5.5 inch display with a full HD resolution. The display is of IGZO and it is sourced from Sharp. It's powered by media chipset which is a 64 bit architecture and an octa core processor clocked at 1.7 GHz. It has a Mali 760 GPU, there is a 2 GB of RAM. Uh, M1 Note comes in two variants 16 GB as well as the 13 GB. Uh, one we had at the event that was a 16 GB and around 11 GB was user available. There is no option for micro SD card so you are limited with the internal storage. On the software side, it runs on Android 4.4.4 KitKat. Like any good smartphone vendor, they also go with their own user interface, FlyMe. And there is a 3140mAh battery inside, uh, which is non removable The shop's IGZO display is amongst the best out there. M1 Note's 5.5 inch display with the full HD 1080 pixel resolution packs 401 ppi. The display is impressive and it is protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass 3. The display is bright and vivid and is soft and natural to eyes. Viewing angles are good too. M and Note features a unibody glossy polycarbonate design. The curves on the back along the edges wraps around the front. Rear panel is glossy and plain but not as slippery as I thought. There is a 3.5mm headset jack on top and then there is a power button on side to each. I really don't like the power button placement on top which is awkward to reach especially on a 5.5 inch device. Thankfully, the home button doubles as a power button as well for turning the screen off. The left side of the phone holds both volume buttons which are separated instead of being a unified volume rock like in many other Android phones. The bottom of the device holds a micro USB port and then the single small speaker. On the back side you will find the 13 megapixel rear camera and a dual tone LED flash. On the right side of the device you find the dual SIM tray which actually fits two SIM cards vertically. One of the SIM card supports the 4G and the other uh, 2G. There is a nice looking SIM ejector which can be used to pop up the SIM tray. So there is only one home button which is very unique for an Android device. If you are in any screen just press the home button you get back to the home screen. Swiping up from the bezel on either side of the home screen opens up multitasking and holding down the home while the screen is on shuts the screen off and, look and locks the device. I really like the way the icons has been used in Flyme OS. Go to the settings, you, know, you have the icons nicely stacked up vertically and it's very different from the usual settings which we have seen in the Android devices. The same thing goes with even with the file explorer, everything is very orderly and nicely stacked in icons. MO Note is also seems to be good in multitasking, just to swipe up next to the home button and you get the uh, multitasking panel and you can shift between the various apps and you can also close the apps from there. The Meizu M1 Note speaker is pretty loud. If you are watching a YouTube video or playing game, you should be happy with the output of the loud. The camera app is pretty nice and you can swipe the screen to access the various camera modes like light field scan, slow mo, auto, manual, beauty mode, panorama mode. Due to the poor lighting conditions, we are not able to test the camera but we will reserve the comment and once we get the review devices. Meizu also has a theme store and there are a lot of themes to choose from. The websites load pretty faster and browsing is a pleasure in this device. There is a single button to clean all the rubbish and junk files in the phone that gets accumulated in due course of time. The Meizu devices needs a learning curve to get used to the single button that is a home button and also the Flyme OS. But once you get used to it, it's a breeze. First impression is the best impression and I would say M1 Note scores well on the first impression and it should give a good competition to the other devices in this range in the market. M1 Note seems to be a serious contender. So let's wait officially for the M1 Note to launch in India. If they get their price right, this, this product is something to look forward to. So until then, thanks for watching. This is Lakshmarajan signing off for TechRoman.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.